So to start off, we'll need a basic form and you can actually download this template from the course downloads. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and grab this, put it in a file called index.php and then make sure you can access it within your browser. And at the moment, all this does is go through to signup.php. Of course, that could be anything. It could be a proper route. In this case, we're going to just test it out in this file. As you can see at the moment, that file does not exist. So the first thing that we're going to do is create that file just in here. So let's say signup.php. And let's just take a look at the form as well. You can see that the forms here, we've got a method of post and we've got an email address field in here. Obviously, uh, in reality, you would have more fields in here, but really this doesn't matter for the purpose of this video. Now we're also pulling in Twitter bootstrap as well, just from Max CDN, and that just gives us this nice, nice design. It's not really important. So what we now need to do is implement the client side part of recapture. And by this, I basically just mean the JavaScript and then the element that, that we use to register the actual widget. So you can see that the key is already included just in here, so you don't need to do anything with that. First step though is to paste in this JavaScript. So just before the end of the body just there, we're gonna go ahead and implement that script in there. So that won't have changed anything on our page at the moment, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this element where we want it to show. So I want it to show just after the last form field, in this case, it's the email address, and I want it to show before the submit button. And remember, our key is just in there. So now we can see we have our recapture form on the page. And what I'm just gonna do temporarily, I'm just gonna add some styling to this. So we can see that we've got a class of G hyphen recapture. So we can just go ahead and set a margin on the bottom, to 10 pixels. Obviously you can do this in, external, in an external style sheet, that would be better. But we now have a fairly nice looking form with our recapture and a little bit of margin on the bottom. So the next step then is just to take a look at what happens and what we have available in our post super global when we submit this form. So to do that, I'm gonna do a var dump on dollar underscore post. So what's gonna happen then is I can enter an email address here. For the purpose of this video, we obviously don't need this information. When I hit sign up, you can see that we've got our email. We also have this G recapture response that has been automatically appended to our form. So that's then being sent through and that token we can then send off to Google for verification. And we do all this on the back end. So the next step then is to actually take that value and go ahead, send it off to Google via the API and verify it. So you would normally have things like your email in here. So I'm just gonna put this in here. We're not actually gonna be using it, but you would do your validation of your normal um, email, username, password, whatever. And now we're gonna use curl to send a request off to Google's API. So let's uh, create a curl instance here with curl in it. And we're gonna set some options here. So we, we're gonna set these in an array. So we use the setup command that we use array. We pass in the curl instance, and then we have an array just here. So the first one is curl option return transfer, and we're gonna set that to one. The next is the actual URL, so it's curl option URL. Now where do we actually send this request to? Well, if we head over to the page here, you can see that the step two we need to send it to this URL and we need to send these two items. The uh, user's IP address is optional. I'm gonna leave that out, but I'll show you where you would put that anyway. So that's the URL we need to send to. So it's google.com slash recapture API site verify. The next step is to say that we want to use post data. So we say curl opt post and we set that to one. And now we need to set our post fields, which is the secret and the response, and then optionally the IP address. So it's curl opt post fields. And this is going to be an array again. So let's pull this down. And the first is the secret. The second is the response, which is that response that we saw in the post super global. And then additionally, you can send across the remote IP in whichever way you're grabbing that. I'm gonna leave this out for now, but at least you know you can implement it later. 
So the secret is basically our app secret. So you don't want anyone to see this. And the response is that response we got through in that post uh, when we actually submitted the form here. So what we're going to do is just remind ourselves of that. I'm going to kill the page here. I'm going to do a var dump and dollar underscore post. So let's click this. And we've been asked to select all images with pies. Great. So let's have a look there. That looks like a pie. And we're through. So let's sign up. So it's G recapture response. And you can see that long string in there. That's what we need to send through. So let's paste in this and access that key. Perfect. So now what we want to do is actually grab the response that we get back from Google. So we're going to create a variable called response. I'm going to say curl, execute. I'm going to pass in our curl instance. Now this is a JSON string. So we need to JSON decode it. Now by default, this will give us an object. If you did want an array back, you can just pass true as the second option. So now let's do a var dump on response and see what we get back. And providing you've done everything correctly, you should see a response here. So I'm going to ignore the email for now. And uh, we need to select all items with a commercial lorry. That looks like one. Great. So I'm going to hit sign up. Oh, yes, of course, we var dumped that up there. So let's just refresh that. Great. So we have success true. So what if things do go wrong? Well, in that case, it would either be if I fail the check or I don't um, fill this out. So if I hit sign up now, you can see that we actually get success false. And then we have a list of error codes within an array here. So what you can do is you can loop through them or grab the first one, redirect the user back and show them an appropriate message. Now I'm going to try and fail this. So uh, commercial lorries, these are definitely not commercial lorries. So let's hit verify. Um, Oh, it's asking me again. So let's have a go. School bus. These are not school buses. And we'll try once more. But if this still won't let us through, that's fine. OK, fine. So let's uh, ignore that for now. But basically, you'd get a list of errors in there and you can redirect off if you want. So what we're going to do then is just quickly, we're going to say if response success or you could check for a falsy value here you would redirect with an error now otherwise down here you would register your user so again we're not going to cover this but uh, go ahead and redirect or do whatever you want here to tell the user that they failed it so they can try again so that is basically how we implement recapture without pulling in the external library it's pretty straightforward the user hits this it's appended to our form we go ahead and you know select things with ice cream and all that stuff. So uh, hit verify. We hit sign up, and uh, we get that success.